Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith e. Phillips and this is going to be a NaNoWriMo weekend write-a-thon vlog. Autumn Ashley was awesome as per usual and organized an entire weekend of write-a-thon activities across multiple YouTube channels here on AuthorTube and mine is going to be starting in... 11 minutes. So I'm really excited to get started. We had some sessions last night as well. I'm going to link below everybody, all the different author tubers who are participating in this. So please go check them out. Some of these author tubers are super close to a thousand subscribers. Please go give them a subscribe, check out their channels. They're all really amazing creators and I think you'll enjoy their content a lot. I am technically um, a little bit behind. I am a little bit behind again. <laughs> this week wasn't too bad. It was just busy. It was just busy. And I, there were two days where I didn't write. Mm. So I'm a little behind, but with the large amount of writing sessions and writing sprints that I'm going to be participating this weekend, I think I'll be able to get caught up with no problem. And of course, this is the beginning of my entire week off of work, which is the best news in a long time. I have all the confidence in the world that I'll be able to catch up probably this weekend, hopefully get a little bit ahead. And then next week I can just sort of cruise a little bit and do the minimum and it won't be a problem. I need to take a drink, take a little breath, make sure the dogs are okay, and then it'll be ready to get started. Thousand words, which is absolutely insane for 20 days of writing. That's fantastic. Okay, so maybe let's do a little bit shorter of a sprint um, because if we do 25, we're gonna have like zero time to say sayonara before it's time to end. <laughs> so. Woo! Three hour stream, three hour stream. I'm having so much more respect for people who stream for like three hours, five hours eight hours, 12 hours. I don't know how you do it. I'm tired. <laughs> it is 1.30 for me. We had a great time on the stream. I got all my words done for today and then some. I bet 2,500 words already for today, which is insane. Um, I definitely need it because like I said, I'm behind, but I'm going to be popping on with Angela Ann on her stream here in just half an hour. So I need to go grab some lunch real quick. I did let the dogs out um, at the very end of that last sprint that we did. So I need to probably let them back in and make sure they're doing okay. Time, time to go grab that lunch because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, we just started, well, like an hour ago, we started new sprints over on Angela Ann's channel. Again, I'll link below everybody who's in this write-a-thon weekend, of course, but I'm getting so tired. I decided to go ahead and make some coffee. So that's brewing over here. So far today, I've gotten over 3,000 words, which is fantastic. And I'm only a thousand words off the like par for today, which is really good. I'm pretty sure I can get a thousand more words in. And yeah, it's going well so far. So I'll check in with you again later. I'm in the middle of the final sprint that I'm going to be a part of here on um, Angela Ann's channel, but Bree just posted in the comments of the stream that Autumn just hit 900 subscribers over on her YouTube channel. Now listen, the big number to hit for any YouTuber is a thousand, right? Because then if you have 4,000 watch hours, you can monetize your videos. And with the number of live streams Autumn has done on her channel, I find it hard to believe that she wouldn't have the watch hours necessary. So listen to me, L Liz, listen to me. If you haven't subscribed to Autumn Ashley's YouTube channel, you go over there right now, you pause this video, or heck, even leave this video, go to her channel and subscribe. You might be like, eh, it's just one. Mm. But if a bunch of people do it, she only needs a hundred more people. That's not that many. Go, 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 do it, do it. 
For real, her content is so encouraging and she has really great videos and fun vlogs. So if you have not checked her out, highly recommend doing so. Anyway, back to the stream. I have chosen pumpkin number seven. We're trying to see which one grows. <laughs> Uh, seven, seven not doing so hot this time around, but that's okay. So anyway, I'm gonna write for 20 more minutes and then say goodbye. Whew, it's been a long day. I am so tired, but the writing sprints today were awesome. I got 4,031 words total for today, which means I'm only like 200 words or something off getting back on track, which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to write an extra 200 words tomorrow at least to get 100% caught up and then a little bit ahead. That would be fantastic. So we'll see what I can do about that uh, tomorrow. I'm very tired. I just took both dogs on walks. I'm finding it really hard to walk both of them at the same time because she wants to sniff everything so she's constantly stopping and then Nahan is much more like he wants to like power walk and only sort of stop every now and then and so when you've got two of them it's just hard to keep stopping for her or keep going for him like they just get all tangled in the leash and stuff I'm sure there's a technique to walking two dogs at the same time that I just don't know about, <laughs> but it's not easy. So anyway, when I can, I've been taking them out for two separate walks. So I'll take her first and then bring her back and then take him out. So I did that yesterday and I did it today. It does mean like that I'm outside longer and I'm getting two walks as well, but that's probably good for me. It's, it's kind of nice because then I can let her take her time and sniff every blade of grass if she wants and I can walk quickly with him and you know hopefully they enjoy the walks a little more when they're not having to like wait for the other one to do their thing. I'm gonna sign off for today. I'll be back tomorrow Sunday for the rest of the weekend write-a-thon and yeah I'll see you then. It's Sunday. I'm back for day two. It's 10 30 for me. We're getting started on Sarah Labrat's channel here in just a few minutes. I'm ready to do some words. If I can get 4,000 words today we'd be doing great things. <laughs> I'll see if I can do it. I'm I'm Definitely gonna need 3K for sure. If I can get 4K, I'll be in really good position for this week. Then I won't have to worry so much about like writing on Thanksgiving day or writing tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff I wanna get done tomorrow, including editing this video. So 4K would be great. 3K will be acceptable. So let's get to writing. Oh boy. All right, we had a three hour stream over on Sarah's channel. It went really well. I hit 1800 words for the stream. So I'm done with, you know, my minimum number of words I needed to get today. So anything else I get in the next stream on Holly's channel will be gravy, which will be fantastic. So I'm hoping I can get at least another 1800. If I can hit 2000 or 2500, that would be even better, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm pretty tired, but I do need to kind of stand up, maybe get something to eat and probably let the dogs out a little bit. So I'll check back in with you in a minute. It is almost 5.30. It is completely, well, not completely, but pretty dark outside. <sighs> I am doing so good. This write-a-thon has been so amazing for my productivity and getting stuff done. We just finished up over on Holly Davis's channel. I am currently at 3,821 words for the day, which is less than 200 words away from my 4,000 word, like, I don't think I can do this, but maybe it would be great goal. And overall, I'm at 36,986 words, so. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna write another 200 words to hit not only 4K for the day, but also 37,000 words overall. There is one more sprint later tonight over on Sarah Sutton's channel. I'll probably be in the chat. Well, I know I'll be in the chat for that, um, at least briefly. This has been amazing, but I'm also so tired. I'm, I rarely do this kind of like really intense writing for multiple days in a row, so I'm feeling exhausted but we're gonna do 200 more words right now and then we're gonna do more work because I have a lot to do this week. But <laughs> for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my word count in.
There it is, 534,002 words, woohoo! And finally, finally, we are above the graph. Look at that. I needed 35,000 for today to be back on track and I have 37. I'm 2,000 words ahead of where I need to be. So 2,000 words ahead means I can take a full day off writing sometime this week and still be okay as long as I do the minimum for each of the rest of the days. My plan for this week, because I do have the whole week off, I have a lot of things I need to get done, personal life stuff, and then there's some things that I'm trying to work ahead on for the channel and for writing in December. But for this week, I do want to be able to take off Thursday for Thanksgiving so I can spend the day prepping the meal and then enjoying the meal and not feeling like I have to immediately come back here and start working. So that 2000 extra words from today will cover Thursday for me for sure. It would be really nice if I could get extra done Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I could maybe even cover Friday for myself. I'm not sure. We'll see how far ahead I can get over the next three days. I have a lot I want to get done, but I should still have plenty of time to do writing during the other days this week. So I feel good. I feel good. And this is, this is the most ahead I think I've been since like the fourth or fifth day of the month. So it feels good feels very good. Good for me. <laughs> Once again, I know I've said it like three or four times during this vlog, uh, unless I cut those bits out during editing, but <laughs> Once again, the link to not only the playlist for this week's write-a-thon is definitely linked below, but I will also link below every single person who took part in any of the live streams that happened. So again, please check out these people, especially check out Autumn Ashley, who wrangled this whole thing together. She did an amazing job. She is so close to 1,000 subscribers. We really, really need to get her there. Zara Hoffman, I also know, is super close. She's at like, she's up in the 800s, like high 800. So go subscribe to her as well. Get those ladies to 1,000. They totally deserve it. I'm a peace out because <laughs> I'm exhausted. If you took part in the write-a-thon this weekend, thank you so much for coming out to it. It was a lot of fun writing with everybody. Let us know in the comments below if you did some sort of huge word counts over the weekend or if you managed to get caught up or just let me know in general where you are with your projects. If you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes and you can check out my website at MeredithePhillips.com to sign up for my newsletter. Thanks so so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! And organized an entire weekend rude. The carnage from my writing day. I've had two cups of coffee, yogurt, granola bar, empty bag from animal crackers. We've got a little bit of a mess going on, but that's all right. We'll clean it up.